Okay, who's ready to get out of the house and get back to business? I think that while the recovery is likely to be slow and probably regionally uneven, I'm afraid that when a lot of small businesses throw open their doors this summer, they may be sorely disappointed. Their emergency plan has been pretty clear. Cut expenses, including the expenses that will help sales come in the door, marketing and advertising. Right now, they're retrenching. Meanwhile, 44% of businesses are doing something really smart something that we've seen many do during previous economic downturns. Hi, I'm Gordon Burrell, CEO of Burrell Associates. We've been tracking and analyzing local business marketing for two decades. And in late March, we found that half of local businesses pretty much went silent with their marketing activities. Meanwhile, their competitors, that 44% I just mentioned, either maintained their ad spending or remarkably actually began increasing it. So what does this group know that the others don't? Well, they know the remarkable story of how businesses excel during an economic crisis, like Kellogg's during the Great Depression or GM during 9-11. If you think recessions are a bad time, consider the success of Microsoft, CNN, AutoNation, iPod, and Uber. All were actually born during a recession. So to understand the concept of crisis marketing, know that consumer and B2B spending doesn't drop during the crisis. It actually remains constant. Habits certainly shift, but shutting down communications during the crisis is like, well, that old saying that stopping your advertising to save money is like stopping your watch to save time. So as we slowly begin to put this crisis behind us, and I hope it's soon, I believe the spring of 2020 is going to be remembered as the perfect storm for local businesses. Let me give you the setup for this storm. First, for the past decade, local businesses had been taking on more and more marketing tasks on their own. Tell me if your business is like this. They managed their own Google pages and Google search. They created Facebook and Instagram and Twitter pages, and they shot videos and posted them on YouTube. And while all of those are worthwhile marketing activities, many businesses unwittingly created their own headwinds. Here's what we found headed into 2020. First, by businesses taking on these marketing tasks internally, the feature creep meant that they spent more money on marketing. Check out this chart. In 2019, we found that small businesses were likely spending amazing amounts of money on the various tasks of managing their digital marketing. For most small businesses, it added up to six figures. Second, as a result, they lost their compass on what they should be spending on advertising in 2020. As the year approached, 58% told us they felt they were either underspending or overspending. Third, they created a marketing echo chamber that limited their ability to reach new customers. By an overwhelming percentage, the most prevalent form of marketing for local businesses is their own social media pages. And while social media is great, an over-reliance on any one form of media isn't. And by relying almost exclusively on social media, they kept communicating with their same customers over and over again. Conversely, retrenching from traditional forms of advertising in print or broadcast or cable or outdoor meant these businesses weren't visible to potential customers outside their own small social circles. So there you have it. A major crisis arrives and the perfect marketing storm begins. So should you hunker down and wait until those stay-at-home orders are lifted and everyone's back at work again? Let's look at the businesses that aren't doing that. Who are they? Well, these businesses that were increasing their advertising as the crisis worsened, represented by the star in this chart, possess greater marketing expertise than those who are cutting. These savvy marketers know that in a crisis, their dollars have more bang for the buck. As this graphic shows, consumer media you should typically rises 60% in a crisis, while many advertisers just go silent. There's more audience and less clutter. Smart marketers jump in, alter their messages to fit with the crisis, and steal market share from those who've gone silent. Later, when the sun comes out and returns to normal, and these silent businesses are going to throw open their doors, you know what they're going to find? <laughs> they're going to wonder why nobody's rushing in because they went silent. So where can you get help? 
There are some local businesses you might consider partnering with. They're not only knowledgeable about this story, but they also have vested interest in helping you navigate troubling times. They're local media companies and ad agencies. Their business, after all, is marketing, and they have an incentive to see that you do well. As a local business owner, you should have high expectations of these companies. Expect them to be partners, not just advertising vendors. Expect them to understand your business and offer a range of digital marketing opportunities, not just their core media product. Amid the crisis, expect them to come equipped with ideas. Well, I hope the spring of 2020 will be remembered as the time when smart business owners got it right and created a shining moment for their companies. And I hope you're one of those companies. And I also hope you'll be able to look back on this moment as the start of the roaring 20s for your business. Thank you.